Hi guys, it's week nine. Was it week nine? Um, video diary time. Semi-finals. It's pretty freaking exciting. Um, the weekend, I really, really enjoyed it. The first performance it wasn't really me. Um, you know, I I enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, don't know how much running around I'm going to do anymore. I just didn't feel too comfortable doing it. Uh, and the second performance, that was me, you know, that was absolutely me. It was my song choice, it was just everything I wanted to do and, and some. You know, I wasn't well, everybody was ill, you know, I had tonsillitis and it kind of hurt to sing and I didn't hit some notes I wanted to hit but I still think the, the general vibe came across of the song, which was cool. Um, Wagner and Katie are gone, you know, it's sad, people are leaving, but we're now down to five, so I mean, it kind of feels now more like we're in the end of the competition. Um, can't wait for this weekend. Um, hopefully, if I'm you know, in good health and everything, then it should be a great one. The theme could be really cool this week. Um, it's two songs again. Um, yeah, so it's going to be exciting going to be more up-tempo. So everyone's going to have a little fun with it. I'm going to try not to, to let Ryan run me around the stage again because I just didn't feel right. No, oh, that's a lie. I felt all right. I just liked standing still and singing <laughs> or playing guitar. Uh, this is for Gemma. If I could be handcuffed to someone for a day, who would it be? Um, I'd like to be handcuffed to Lee Evans because I think... I just want to see if, you know, if his... If his outtake on life is kind of like constant, the, the way he looks at things, you know. Just, is he that funny all the time? This is for Emily. If I had a time machine, where would I go and why? I'd probably go back to uh, Reading Festival 90... Oh, two or four? I can't remember which one it was when Rage Against the Machine were playing and they had Maynard from Tool come out and sing. Can't think of the song, but that would have been a great moment. It's the semi-final now, uh, so it's getting really, really tight. Um, to everyone who's voted to me, thank you so much. It means absolutely everything to me. Um, and please keep doing it, because I don't want to go home yet. Um, uh, and, I, you know, I can't wait for this weekend. I can't wait to really, you know, pull something else out of the bag and just to have a great show. Uh, so thank you all so much for your love and support and your votes just mean absolutely everything. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, until next time, hopefully there will be a next time. Um, so unbelievably happy to be in the final. Um, it's quite an achievement for everybody who's still here. Um, Homecoming was absolutely amazing. The crowd were just insane, and there were so many people there. And I just want to thank everybody who came, and everybody who helped set it up. Um, I was still quite rough, and it wasn't in the best shape vocally. But I mean, the crowd were really behind me, and that was awesome. Um, kind of so nervous about the weekend. Um, almost like you know, it's the final now. So whatever happens, happens, and that's great. At least we've all got there. Um, you know, I just want my voice to be on, on form for it because it's still not there at the moment. Um, you know, looking forward to the, the songs, looking forward to the duet. Um, it's just going to be amazing, so just going to rest up until then. But, uh, so, I mean, just, I just can't thank everybody enough for voting me in this far. It's just, um, just so humbled and, I, you know, it's just such an honour to still be here, so thank you all so much. It's going to be crazy to think that it's over after next weekend, um, or after the after the final, um, and we let out the bubble. And uh, you know, I'm the same person that went in the bubble, but I'm not perceived as the same person on, by the outside. You know, I'm very recognisable at the moment. Um, so it's going to get a bit crazy, but I just want to crack on and you know start my career and hopefully have a good one. Um, this is from Leanne. If I was invisible for the day, what would I do? Um, I'd probably sneak into the Houses of Parliament, into one of the really secret rooms and find out what's actually going on. <laughs> uh, this is from Danny. What's my favourite joke? And thank you for your kind words, hon. That's really, really sweet. Um, 
my favourite joke. Okay, uh, this is from a good friend of mine called Rob McCoyd, um, and it goes like this. Uh, a rabbit walks into a bar and he wants some food, so he asks the barman if he can have some food, and they say they do toasty, so he's like, I'll have a cheese and ham toasty. Uh, so he has that and he comes back on Tuesday and he's like, oh, I like your toasty, he's like, I'll have a bacon and brie toasty. So he has a bacon and brie toasty, he's ready well. I'm back on Wednesday, so he's like, I'm a bit bored of cheese and stuff, can I have a different one? So he's like, we've got tuna melt toasty, you have one of them? Um, so he has a tuna melt toasty and then the barman doesn't see him for a couple of days and he comes back on the Friday and um, he's got a limp, his eyes are all bloodshot, his hair's all over the place, he's coughing and stuff and the barman's like, Jesus, what happened to you? And he's like, don't man, I've been mixing my toasties. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. <laughs> uh, on the tanning video, yeah, that was quite funny. I watched that the other day as well. Um, yeah, I've got it's my day at birth, and it kind of says some things in Latin about how I feel about music, but it's kind of a secret, so if you ever get to uh, know me, <laughs> then you'll find out. That question was from Rosie, this is for on Paige Howard, he says, if I could write a letter to a 16 year old me, what would I tell myself? Um, <laughs> um, that's a really great question. Um, I'd say, don't do it! No, I'm only kidding. Um, just, just keep believing in yourself, I suppose, and keep going, never give up. And I, I never gave up, and I'm still never gonna give up. So that would probably just read never give up. So thanks again, this is my last video. Diary's a little bit sad really, we've done ten of these. Um, uh, so thanks for anybody who's ever watched, thank you so much for anybody who's left questions for me. Um, I haven't had a chance to answer them all obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you so much and um, I will see you soon.